everyone. It's cold. It's icy, foggy. The road is closed. And there's absolutely nothing stopping us from heading way up into the mountains. <laughs> At this hour, I think most of the ice should have melted. It is warming up just a little bit. Right now it's about 35 degrees. I love these foggy days. And I especially love hiking closed roads. Hiking on a paved surface, so nice. <laughs> it's a nice change from a trail. And if you get the opportunity to do so, you should definitely go out and hike some closed roads. This area is all federal land, and it's pretty awesome. Whenever it's all shut down like this, the government encourages people to get out and to explore, to go past the gates. The thing is, most people don't know that. So will I see anybody out here today? Not a chance. <laughs> Absolutely no one. All the land here on the side is also federal land. Some of it is leased out to farmers and whatnot. You may see some cattle along the way. Now, correction, there are others out here, the animals. I just spooked two deer from the hill here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Permission to pass. Those are the guardians of the forest. My plan for the day is fairly simple. I have about two miles to the false summit up here on this mountain. Then I'm going to get off into a field. Then I'm going to set up my tarp, break out the stove, cook, because it's lunchtime. Oh yeah. I can't think of a better day to get out to explore, to have some fun in nature than this. Temperatures are perfect. The conditions are perfect. And there's absolutely no one around. Now this is pretty funny, everyone. When the gates are closed, you can basically come out snowshoe, you could ski, you could hike, whatever, but you can't bring your vehicle, right? So keep that in mind. A few years ago, I came out here for an overnight winter trip. I'm hiking down and I am greeted by this Tacoma late model driving up, right? So I stop, look at him because I know he went around the gate. He had no idea who I was and he sure didn't want to talk to me. He turned around right in the middle of the road, did like a 20 point turn <laughs> and took off. <gasps> With this being federal land, you don't mess around out here. Going to federal court, no fun. In other words, don't get caught doing something you're not supposed to do out here. As it stands now, over a mile in, making good progress. Should be getting off the road here just a little bit. In this area, the number of law enforcement officials, park rangers, whatnot, is very low. Because of that, it is very common for people to make meth. Basically just off the side of the road. You really do have to be careful. You never really know what you're going to come up upon, so you have to be prepared. Without a doubt, I am prepared. Not going to talk about it much because YouTube prevents me from doing so. Every single time I do, demonetize. The video gets buried. In the end though, you have to be prepared for everything. You are your own security. Keep that in mind, everyone.
The elevation here at the false summit is 4,100 feet. You probably can't see anything, but we are headed way up here, up on top of this mountain. <laughs> Tell you, I'm loving this. I really am. You might be able to see the mountain now. That's where we're headed. You have to be careful. The barbs on that tree will absolutely shred your jacket or your waterproof gear. Luke, how do you know this? Because I've done it. <laughs> I've been pretty lucky. The rain hasn't been too heavy. More of a mist, a drizzle, I guess. But, uh, starting to rain now. All right. That's the top of this mountain. There's not many trees over there. So, I think I'll go over here and take a look. So there's the setup, everyone. Fully protected, more importantly, the camera's protected. Not the GoPro, but the Sony. It's getting a little bit windy. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> 
It will be coffee time in no time. And then it's time to move on to lunch. Now, lunch is actually different than what I originally planned because I was going to make pork chops. But I went to get the pork chops today and they'd gone bad. They stunk so badly that I wasn't going to take the chance on them. It's still going to be a great lunch. More of like a breakfast style lunch. It's gonna be good. It's taster's nasty time, everyone. <laughs> Perfect. Let's make it a double. Let's make it extra nasty. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> That is nasty. <laughs> Taster's nasty for the win. It makes you a man. <laughs> it puts hair on your face. It puts hair all over the place. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. It's good stuff. <laughs> now, because it's so cold, these gas canisters do not perform very well. So I am going to shove this inside of my jacket here. To keep it warm. And I'll do that while I'm processing my food. Because what I have are some eggs, some turkey sausage, and without a doubt, garlic and onions. Now I know what you're thinking, Luke, how can you possibly eat that much garlic? And it's easy because it is absolutely amazing. It tastes fantastic and it's super good for you. If you cook it long enough, you really do get like the power element of the garlic out and you have nothing but flavor left over. So if you think it's insane to eat that much garlic, cook it real good, you're gonna love it. Now we're talking. Ah, oh, that smells so dang good. The nice thing about cooking with cast iron in the winter time is that it takes very little heat to actually heat up the iron. So you don't need to have an incredible rate of flow from your stove. So even with the cold, poor performance of your canister, you could still cook super, super easily. Man, it smells good. It really does. Starting off with the sausage first, then I'll move to the onions and the garlic, and I'll finish off with the egg, introduce it all together. Done.
Oh my god. Mm mm mm. That is unbelievable. Mm. Ah, coffee's good too. <laughs> It's a great way to finish up the week, isn't it? Friday afternoon, it's about three o'clock. Foggy, it's cold, temperature's dropping. It's raining just a little bit. Sitting underneath a tarp, some good lunch, good food. Mm-hmm. The thing about garlic and onions, like I said before, if you cook it long enough, you won't have garlic breath or onion breath or anything like that. It's just nothing but flavor. It is time to go. <laughs> I need to go home and wash all of my gear because I didn't notice it at the time. But basically I put this pack and everything else right on top of a nasty cow patty. <laughs> everything is essentially covered in cow shit right now. Freeze of rain has fallen now, falling pretty good. <laughs> I've been having icicles form right on the brim of my jacket here, on the hood. I'm roughly a mile in, two more to go. You guys have already seen this. <laughs> so I will say goodbye now. Have an incredible 2020. I really am looking forward to the year with you all. I wanna give a special shout out to all of the new subscribers. The channel's been blowing up. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. I will see you all again on the trail soon. Bye.